Okay. I know the last time I, I said something, I, I said, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to work out a theory here, and I, I'm trying to understand the president, and I said, you know, I think the president, and, and it just it was, it went poorly. But this time I think I can make the case. Let me give you the theory. I think the president is a girl. I think he may, I don't know if he was ever born a man or if he had it lopped off. I don't know. I don't know. But I think he's almost entirely all girl. Girl power. Let me give you an example. Heard this story last week. Former President Bill Clinton warned the president that uh, it was unwise. You know, don't mock the Second Amendment supporters. So what does the president do? He immediately comes out and he tries to assure the Second Amendment supporters that, that guns are safe with him because he loves guns and goes shooting all the time. I heard that this morning. I'm like, he goes shooting all the time? Quote, in fact, up at Camp David, we skeet shoot. We, we do skeet shooting all the time. And I have profound respect for the traditions of hunting that trace back in this country for generations. And I think those who dismiss that out of hand make a big mistake. <laughs> First of all, Second Amendment, sir, is not about hunting. But I appreciate the cute little effort, Mr. Constitutional Scholar. Now, I'd like to believe him. But I stood this morning in my bathroom as I'm getting ready for work. And yes, actually thinking that all of this worked. Um, and I'm standing there this morning and I'm thinking, I'm trying to imagine him even holding a shotgun. I mean, I'm just having, think, close your eyes for a second. Picture him dressed, you know, with the hunter red, you know, uh, red or orange vest and the hunting cap with the ear flaps. Picture big, 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 giant ear flaps, okay? Take you a minute to, okay, got it. And shooting skeet. You, does that work for you? See the guy just looking natural, you know, in camouflage and the big helmet on his head and a gun of any sort looking natural. I think the only thing that President Obama has in common with guns is he's from Chicago where they've confiscated all of the guns and yet they still keep the sh showing up. I mean, he's probably just used to hearing them go off and all of his neighbors hearing the guns go off all around town whenever you drive anywhere. But other than that, I don't think the shoe fits. Let me just let me go back to my theory that President Obama is a girl. A, evidence. The guy wears mom jeans. I mean, I, I think he just, I mean, the mom jeans, I think, uh, he rides a wimpy bike with ridiculous helmets in his mom jeans. Okay? He throws a ball like a girl. Now, I just want to point out, I do too. But I don't wear the mom jeans or ride a gir goofy girl. Look at that. I was better than that. And I was horrible. Okay? And he throws like a girl with her non-throwing arm. Okay? <laughs> and speaking of arms, could we show... Okay. His arms are not her arms. His wife's arms are more mannish and muscular than his. And no self-respecting man would ever allow this to happen. I'm just thinking my wife's arms and then my arms. I take that last one back. This is the least manliest man in America. He is. Girl power to the 10th power. And we're supposed to believe that he and his posse go shooting all the time. Yeah. His idea of a rowdy, reckless time of playing loud music in the hallway while putting cigarettes out in the carpet and resisting the bourgeois society's stifling constraints, and he's also skeet shooting. Putting the cigarettes out in the hallway, if that's your idea of manly behavior, man card revoked by me. That's sad. Now, I just want to point out that it is a little bit hypocritical of me to call somebody else a girly man, but as a girly man, I mean, I'm like 95% chick, and I admit that. Got it. Got it. I can only bench press maybe the bar, and, and that's only because they tricked me. I thought it was an actual bar, but it's... I like to watch the Super Bowl commercials. I could skip the game. My son throws a baseball twice as far as I can. He's eight. I enjoy fashion design. I like musicals. I cry a lot. 
Uh, you know, I couldn't win a fight against Betty White. That said, I do skeet shoot. I love to go shooting. I have ski seen skeet, and I've broken the skeet. I've gone target shooting many, many times. And unlike some, I do have video proof of me skeet shooting where the president... Of course, he's never around a camera. That's the thing. Nobody ever has a camera around this guy. Wish we could get a photograph or a video of him sometime. We scoured the Internet looking for any evidence of girl Obama ever being anywhere near a gun, picking it up. Photo op. Something. This is the only photo we know of existence, and I'm not kidding you. Yes. Yes, it was right after he killed Obama, uh, or Osama, I believe. Um... Oh, no, no, <laughs> that's just a, a water gun, and a manly sprint it is. I imagine the evidence is not out there, because if he, if he did try to get it, I guarantee you, he, he got knocked on his girly butt. I mean, honestly. He said this weekend, I, I wouldn't even allow my child to play football. I'm not sure if I would. Who says that? Seriously. No one but my wife and the chicken chief. That's it. That's it. He says, I'm a, big football f I'm a big football fan, but I have to tell you, if I had a son, I'd have to think long and hard before I let him play football. Either this guy is a woman, or he, he has just been totally co-opted by his wife. Because even I, I don't watch football. Back off. He's eight. It's football. So we're supposed to believe that a guy who can barely stomach the idea of something as violent as football gets up in the morning and, uh, and he's like, you know what I want to do? I want to I shoot some skeet. Really? Yeah. I mean, I was brought up in Hawaii. I went to Harvard. You know, I was active in the Harvard and Columbia University skeet shooting community. It's insulting. It is insulting. But when you think about it, put a nice flower basket there on the president's pink bike and pink helmet. I mean, this is more likely the truth on this guy, really. You know, we, ooh. He's a chick. Kind of works on him, doesn't it? If he had a gun, it would... <laughs> I think that's not a doctored picture, quite honestly. If he had a gun, I'm guessing it would match his purse. <laughs> I want the Hello Kitty gun. I love it. His stated reason for supposedly loving the Second Amendment is equally insulting. Quote, if you grew up and your dad gave you a hunting rifle when you were 10 and you went out and spent a day with him and your uncles and that became part of your family's traditions, you can see why you'd be pretty protective of that. Really? This from a guy who taught constitutional law? Or, I'm sorry. This from a chick who taught constitutional law? The Second Amendment is for self-defense, namely against an out-of-control government. And if you think of the idea of an out-of-control government is far-fetched, remember. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. God help us when all the conservatives get in the way of this president's progress.